Hello, welcome to the online open house for the Regional Transportation Plan. I'm Erin Hogan, an Associate Transportation Planner, and I'm here today to provide an overview of how transportation demand management is addressed in the plan. Transportation Demand Management, or TDM, refers to programs designed to reduce congestion, fuel consumption, and air pollution by encouraging alternatives to driving alone. These alternatives include transit, carpools, van pools, walking, biking, teleworking, etc. Washington has been a leader in TDM since the passage of the Commute Trip Reduction Law in 1991, which requires TDM programming at large work sites with employees commuting during peak hours. The commute trip reduction law has been successful in addressing many commute trips. 24% of all employees in the region work at an affected work site. As shown in this figure, the share of commute trips using alternatives to driving alone is higher at work sites with TDM programming. Across all work sites in the region in 2018, 33% of trips were made by alternatives to driving alone. At work sites with TDM programs, that number increases to 47%. Most TDM programs are designed to serve commute trips. However, these account for less than a quarter of all trips in the region, according to the Regional Household Travel Survey. More data is needed to better understand the successes, challenges, and opportunities of TDM in our region. Such data could help us understand which strategies work best for encouraging alternatives to driving alone and how well TDM is serving traditionally marginalized populations like people of color or low-income populations, as well as the many workers who do not travel during traditional peak hours. The plan recommends increased coordination with other planning efforts and collaborating with the state and local TDM implementers to improve data collection and efforts to measure the impact of TDM. The plan also recommends using this data to inform considerations of expanding TDM in the region or modernizing the commute trip reduction law. Such changes could include incentivizing TDM at more work sites, like smaller employers or work sites with shift workers, neither of which are currently affected by the commute trip reduction law. It could also mean expanding the law's approach to TDM to include non-work trips, which make up 76% of all trips in the region. For more details, please check the TDM section of the draft, draft plan at the link below this video. We'd love to hear your comments and ideas. Please provide feedback by clicking on the button below this video or through the comment form on the main page. All comments that we receive will be summarized and presented to the PSRC Transportation Policy Board, a group of elected and appointed officials and other community, business, labor, and environmental leaders as they refine and make changes to the plan this spring. Thank you for visiting our online open house and please check out the other topics.